what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Between 2014 and 16, one Alabama County Sheriff pocketed more than $110,000 in excess taxpayers' dollars that his office received to feed inmates in the county jail that he oversees. Man, these damn policemen are out of control. Another county sheriff in Alabama paid a teenager to mow his lawn with checks that he got from a fund that was allocated for inmate food, but ended up in his personal account. They contend that they are not breaking the law by taking thousands of federal, state, and municipal tax dollars that they receive each year as allocations to feed inmates in their jails. The two sheriffs and likely other crooked sheriffs across the state say they are following the letter of a long-standing Alabama state law that they believe allows for them to keep any funds designated to feed county jail inmates that do not end up being used for that purpose. The law is at the center of a lawsuit jointly filed January 5th by the Southern Center for Human Rights and the Alabama Appleseed Center for Law and Justice. The two centers sued 49 Alabama County sheriffs over their refusal for a period of several months to produce public records showing whether, and if so, by how much, they have personally profited from funds allocated for feeding people in their jails, according to a statement that was released a month ago. Let me tell you something, man. We need to, first of all, stop incentivizing these jails and the people who run them by filling those jails up. This is how they get paid. This is why it's important for the sheriff to send his goons out into the street and make arrests. It's all a money grab. We also need to stop making it impossible for felons to return back into society and become productive citizens. Because all that does is increase recidivism and it makes it harder for them to go out there and earn a decent living. And so what it does is that it further creates that criminal element. And what we're doing is incentivizing criminals to recommit. That's what's happening. If you're not giving people a real chance at correcting their wrongs, and we're gonna punish them forever, well, I ain't going to say we, they, y'all. You're going to punish them forever. Then what is the incentive for them to go the straight and narrow? There is none. So that's why a lot of dudes be like, man, I'm damned if I do. I'm damned if I don't. And then when you get in jail, you can be in jail for something very, very minor. And they'll create something. They'll create a disturbance. They'll create some type of ruckus, a brawl. They'll try to rough you up. Next thing you know, you're in jail for another five years because they just hit you with assault on an officer. It's all a money grab, man. It's not about protecting the public. When will y'all figure this out? Some of y'all out there are perfect. Y'all ain't never made no mistakes. All y'all see is the mistakes of others. And if you make a mistake, you need to pay. And it don't, it don't matter what they do to you. I don't care. You just shouldn't have done it. If you get shot in the head for stealing the sneakers out of the store, you shouldn't have done it. If you didn't uh, walk up to the officer fast enough or give him your information fast enough and you got beat down, you deserved it. If you got a 20-year sentence for a crack rock where well, you knew crack was illegal so you shouldn't have done it in the first place. Or you get a... 30-year sentence, a life sentence for an ounce of weed. Well, you know you was on probation. You shouldn't have done it. Do y'all understand how ridiculous this way of thinking is? America 
got a major problem with compassion. America got a major problem. Americans have a major problem with fixing problems, problem solving. It's always punish, 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 punish. Our problems are met with anger and punishment and more anger and more punishment. That's America for you. This is why you got your school shootings and mass murders, murdering going on. This is where this come from. It's that type of attitude. Prisons in America is about one thing, money. And if you find yourself locked up, you are going to be one thing, a slave. Hopefully they'll lock up those shares, but I doubt it would be nice though. When they finish with that investigation, maybe they could investigate Aramark. That's the company that serviced the food. They've been an evil empire since the 70s. Anybody that know, they'll tell you. These prisons, they're not paying off for the taxpayers. They're just not. No matter what you think, they're not paying off. America is becoming more and more of a dangerous society. And this is why they're locking up more and more people. It's only paying off for the lobbyists, the politicians, the businessmen, and the sheriffs. These prisons, they cost 20 to $40 billion and a $1 trillion tax deficit every single year. Those are not good numbers. This is like siphoning gasoline from the person who takes your child to school. Not surprised this is happening in Alabama, and I mean anywhere in America, I wouldn't be surprised, but especially Alabama, they are as backwoods as it gets. They are really stuck in time. Well, Alabama, at least we were proud of you for two months. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?